Hi, Felix here. It's very sad. Imba is not happening, we are all in lockdown, but I think maybe there is more to it. Maybe there is even some positive outcome of this. So I went to the internet and looked for a list of 10 things that may be good. So I'm just gonna read them out to you and maybe we can all think a little bit about it. First, you're saving money. Sure, I know this will have disastrous effects on many businesses. And I am sorry about that. You can support your local restaurant by ordering online if possible. And you might even buy a few clothes and items online. But all in all, being in quarantine will most probably make you spend less. And maybe you will make a pattern out of that and save more. You might even realize that you can live with so much less. 2. This is good for the planet. So good. No tourism, no ferries, so few planes. Carbon emissions are sinking at the speed of light. And in China, in the quarantined areas, Forbes says 77,000 lives were saved by reducing pollution. In Sardinia, dolphins are swimming in harbors in the absence of ferries. I am hoping that this is the silver lining to this crisis. That people see that we can mitigate climate change if we want to. 3. You can enjoy time with your children. Your kids love to be with you 24-7, although it may be tiring for you. They will probably remember this as a wonderful time with their parents. Maybe this is the time you realize that you want to work less in the future and spend more time with your family. 4. Cherish your elders. We realize how much we love our elders and our families in general and don't want to lose them. 5. Creative cooking. You can start using time to empty your cupboards of food and cook creatively with what you have in order not to go to the shop too often. 6. Decluttering. You can do all the things you never have time to do. Sort your old clothes that you want to give away, clean your home, read those books lying on your shelf for a year, take that online course. 7. Focus on yourself. You can start being creative again. Start writing that book you've been talking about for years. Or start drawing again. Start doing yoga every morning and meditating. 8. Fix your home. You can fix things in your home. For once you are home when it is allowed to make noise. Repair that squeaky kitchen door. You can even start making a small project to build shelves or other things you need. 9. More remote work in the future? Your boss might realize that remote working works and might allow you to do that more in the future. You will have good points to show that it is possible and does not impact productivity. 10. Rethinking your life. I know this sounds far-fetched, but I do believe this crisis will have many impacts on us that we do not even foresee yet. Maybe you will have time to rethink your career path or your relationship. Maybe you want to get closer to your family or get a divorce. Okay, less positive. Maybe you want a more rewarding job, even though you might earn less. Good luck and keep your eyes open for positive impacts of this crisis. That was the closing of the day. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great time. Goodbye.